This is Kevin from Performance Trends, and I want to show you how a quick cam checker can uh, work on the engine stand as well as in a vehicle, turning the engine over with the starter. On the stand, you're going to use, you know, probably crank off the damper here and bar it over by hand. So when you do it on the stand, there's going to be some differences here. What we've done here is we've got our lift sensors like you always have, and we got on a bracket, and with these accessories you can get from us, the, uh, the lift sensor goes right on top of the push rod, and you can see it's fairly long here to make sure everything stays nice and straight uh, in line with each other. We got these helper springs here to make sure that the tappet always stays in contact with the can. You can see here we always put this little strap over here, because anything you can do to stiffen up this attachment, this bracket on the lift sensors makes for much more accurate data. So we got nice stiff attachments and the two lift sensors. Now, when you do it on a stand, you don't have cylinder pressure. So what we do is we use another lift sensor, a third lift sensor. This would be another accessory you have to get from us. Um, and this will be for measuring TDC location. And what typically works the best is, you can see we're close to TDC here, what typically works the best is to measure about three quarters of an inch, half inch of piston travel at the top of TDC. That works out real well. And then over here, we're measuring our crank position here. Um, we have a couple accessories here. We've got, first thing is, when you're measuring it with the starter in a vehicle, you've got continual rotation. When you do it on a stand like this, you're going to bar it over, you're going to be starting and stopping. And that would not give us real good data unless you do what we're doing here. This is a 10 turn pop. And what that means is when it's going to turn 10 times, it's nice continual measurement the whole time, but when it gets to the end of the 10 turns, it's going to stop. And with a starter, that would not be good. Uh, but here, you're not going to break anything, but it's not accurate. Uh, so what we do here is use this 10 turn pot because we know we're going to turn this thing over at most, maybe five or six revolutions to get what this needs to do it. Another accessory we got here is our spring-loaded bracket. The spring-loaded bracket allows us to uh, have a little bit of give in here to make sure that this always rides on top of that damper. And we got a bigger wheel here, drive wheel here also, because if we use a standard about two and a half inch drive wheel, in about five turns of this, the tension power would be maxed out and we'd stop getting good data. So let's go ahead and make a measurement. The first thing you do is you make sure that you always start, you're going to have to rotate this back so that you're always starting at the beginning of rotation. Do that, tighten this down, okay, and then what you do is you just got our little micro logger here that does everything. You press record and you just start barring it over. Now when you get enough uh, rotations, the little logger here will say uh, calculating instead of recording. And you don't have to start at any particular position. This doesn't have to be a top dead center or anything. It's I'm stopping and everything. And it says taking data. Okay, now it's calculated. So now let's see what our results look like. Let's see our, our little data logger. You can see there's intake center line, exhaust center line, more data like duration and 50 and such. And we push this little button here to go next. And there you can see opening and closing events. Uh, rocker ratio is one and lash is zero because we're doing this uh, right on the cam, not off a retainer for a valve. So we're getting cam events here, just like you'd expect. So you actually do not need a computer, but you can see here with a little USB cable here. We're actually plugged into a computer over here. And so let's see what that data looks like. Click on the read button little progress bar showing us that the data is coming in and we got some previous runs here so it says it got the data and let's see how this data compares with everything else so you can see the lobe separations are within about half a degree Center lines are all really close to each other. The lifts are all within a thou of each other. 
The durations are all within probably a degree of each other. That's duration at 50. You can set this thing up to do duration at 100 or duration at 20, thou, whatever you want. And because we got uh, we downloaded it right away, we have a full profile file. So let's graph this. We have marked a baseline here with this little asterisk. That's our baseline. And let's uh, graph the, the new data that's highlighted here. Let's graph that and see how it compares. The black is the profile, the baseline profile, and the colored, red is exhaust, blue is intake. And you can see those profiles. You have to look way in there to see any difference between black and red or black and blue. Profiles are almost exactly on top of each other. So here again is our data by clicking on turn off graph. So you can see we got a pretty nice device. Our quick cam checker works great on a cam stand for good repeatable data and uh, for doing it very quickly.